So I thought it'd be a really great idea for Mother's Day to make my mum a Mother's Day card with a difference. Uh, now my mum loves craft making and making all sorts of fan made stuff herself and cards and mainly everything. And I thought well 3D printing is kind of like handmade. So um, let's make her a 3D printed Mother's Day card and see what she thinks of it. And it kind of grew a little bit into um, how far can you go? So obviously you can create an actual card, which is just basically, you know, what I did was 15 by 20 centimeters front and back. Um, and I wanted to introduce color and unfortunately the Automaker 2 doesn't allow very easy color change. So um, I did a basic kind of um, translucent or very clear um, uh, PLA um, as the back card and the front card um, and then I use different coloured PLA uh, to do the words and I printed a little heart as well um, in nice red PLA um, and then I thought about doing what I've done previously but it didn't kind of work out very well then but I thought I'll give it another go again which was basically to do um, a litho print which is a very old-fashioned way of building layers up of, of material so that when you hold it up to the light uh, they show through and show the image. Uh, so I thought I'd go through that and the process of doing that is quite simple actually. Um, I didn't realise how easy it was. Basically all you've got to do is pick the, the best picture possible um, and the picture's got to be of you know whether you choose the person's face or the, the person themselves but it's just got to be them. Um, and obviously with hardly anything in the background you can cut that out obviously using Photoshop but the less fuss there the better so ultimately what you are going for is like a, a, a sort of studio if you like um, portrait shot of somebody and shoulders or sort of their entire body whatever you want to do but something that you can pick out so it's them um, and then make it as vibrant as possible um, especially around the edges but make the light and dark and everything else as vibrant as possible on that picture and what I did then uh, with the Ultimaker I got Cura as the uh, slicing software uh, and honestly <laughs> you're not going to believe this but it's so easy it's Cura allows you to bring the picture in and then it places it sort of on the on the print bed um, and allows you to choose the depth and where the light is going to be perceived as more layers or light is going to be perceived as, as less layers you know how tall you want it to build how much detail you want to build it in and it's all within cure it's so easy so what I did was I went back to Photoshop and um, effectively built the card so I had a white background um, and then um, a nice picture of my mum probably taken uh, about 20 years 30 years ago um, wearing a nice dress and a big hat and everything she was at my um, sister's wedding and she was stood near the church door so it's really easy to cut her out on her own and then sort of make the card put my mum on there make the colours really vibrant go into Cura and basically tell Cura to pick out and, and put it in and it just basically plunks a card on the build platform uh, you choose the layer and light and dark etc and then you can obviously using the view layers part of Cura you can go through and see the layers see how many layers it's going to build up and how it's going to look choose the detail and off it went for um, a good few hours um, I printed it at 0.06 millimeter uh, with 100% infill because I didn't want there to be any sort of crisscross patterns behind it or anything like that um, and it was like 13 hours or something like that as a long print but I tell you what it came out and everybody that's seen it obviously it's no point showing you the camera now um, as I'm speaking now I'll put up some pictures of it so you can actually see the effect of it and how brilliant it looks and how odd it looks from certain angles as well um, but everyone that's seen it has basically been blown away I think amazing wowzer and other comments like that and uh, my mum cried a lot as well a happy cry but you know still she was upset because um, she thought it was amazing so um, yeah how to rock Mother's Day card using a 3d printer there you go
Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Please click on the like button if you did. Uh, please also click on the subscribe button and then you'll get to find out lots more of uh, what I get up to and the different videos that are on my channel. Every time I put on there, you'll get an email to say, hey, Gadget John's putting a new video, come watch it now. So take care, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.